70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water in three different forms. Solid ice, liquid water, and water vapor or gas. Solid ice is a low energy form of water. The molecules move slowly, locked in a crystalline structure forming ice. Liquid water has a higher level of energy where the water molecules are able to flow freely. And water vapor is the most energized form of water. Molecules are able to fly up, away from the water and evaporate in what's known as the water cycle. Water collects and gains energy. As it gains energy, the molecules move quicker and rise into the atmosphere, where they cool and condense to form clouds, which drop precipitation back to Earth that runs off and collects once more. It's called the water cycle. And the energy source for the water cycle? The sun. We can recreate the water cycle using a heating element for an energy source and a boiling flask filled with water. We'll use ice to represent the cool upper atmospheric temperatures. As the water gains heat, the molecules move quickly. The water boils and liquid water changes to water vapor. The water vapor fills the flask and rises. You can see it cooling and condensing along the walls of the flask. As the vapor rises and cools, more droplets form and the water vapor escapes the boiling flask. It eventually comes into contact with the ice and the water vapor cools, condenses, forms droplets which run off and precipitate back into the flask. The water cycle has stages. Collection stage is where water collects either on the surface or below ground. The evaporation stage is where water evaporates, changing from liquid back into gas. Condensation, water changes from a gas back into liquid droplets. And in precipitation, water returns to the Earth's surface to run off and collect once more.